on from Tarot Like Beauty. Just uh, going to do a little attempt with hooded eyes. The fox eye look. Please pardon <laughs> that I don't have anything uh, done with my face. I did prep my eye area and I will have on how I did my eyebrows with um, shadow from um, Saint and also uh, the brush strokes from Oak. And I used both of these. Well, actually I didn't use this end, <laughs> but I did use this end. I, I really like this end also for helping with the eyebrows and everything. And also this has a nice edge to it. And of course the little spool to get all those little hairs and everything like that. So without further ado, let's start in on the book. So hmm. so I'm going to take instead of an actual eyeshadow brush so I can get like a really nice wing out. I am actually going to use the multitasker brush so I can actually get a good straight out wing. So, so I'm going to take um, a bit of a, a deeper shade. I'm just going to take a little bit on the edge of my multitasker, the, the, the bigger flat end, and I'm just going to come off here in a wing to get a straight. I want to get that look where it's actually coming out. No worries. I am actually going to go over all this and get it all really good and pulled out. This is a very hard type of look to get when you have hooded eyes because it tends to use a little bit of the concealer. I can actually make that a little bit on the thinner side and but yeah with hooded eyes I mean there's a lot of all this real estate that just <laughs> you know so getting the foxy eye look you're you're really in a challenge with these type of eyes I'm just going to pull it out and I'll clean all this up like I said and bring it down. And I do keep my eyes open so that I can pretty much, I'm going to, see that's the great thing about having everything in one palette is I can grab a bit of my concealer and because it's just in another area. So if I do pull up, I can actually straighten out that and get rid of all that excess. If you have, have hooded eyes, you might want to pull out on the side so that everything looks really nice and pointed. So I'm going to just grab a little bit more. Just 
on a straight point. I don't want to smudge this too much. So I'm going to bring that down. So I want to keep everything pointing up. Now this eye, just telling you straight up right now, <laughs> it is always a problem eye and it's because it does hang further because I have Bell's palsy and it's just, yeah, it's a little bit extra saggy in there, but you work with what you got. Okay. So now that's that. So I'm just going to grab my smudge brush and I'm going to get this little fluffy end here. And I'm going to take a very light brown. I'm going to take this brown and I'm just going to bring it in. And I'm going to bring it out right to that wing. And the same on this side. You don't need a whole ton of makeup to get achieve the fox eye look. Going lighter is the best. Okay, so now I am going to grab my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to grab just one shade a little bit darker than that one. And I'm going to use the um, little fuzzy tip at the end of the eyeshadow brush. And I am going to actually bring it to this level just below the normal crease line and up. Now I'm not going to have a hot, as much of a high crease as I would normally have, but it's still not going too bad. As long as you can see it with your eye, keep your eyes always open and wing it out. Now I am going to take a lighter color. So I just popped Cupcake out of my other palette because I don't have it in my regular palette. And I am actually going to take my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to need so that I'm not having all this powder into it. 
I'm going to clean it with the tile. So this lovely little thing goes right, can go right into it. I like to have it out right where I can get it so I can put more <laughs> shadows into my, so yeah, that's fairly good and clean. Um, so I want to take this light shade. All the shades that I'm using right now are matte and I just want to bring this lighter shade, which is more the color of my skin, down. So there's more of a contour just on the actual mobile lid. Cause this is all about contour actually of the eye <laughs> that's that's the, the thing about this so now i can pretty much what i'm going to do is i am going to take the tip of the multitasker brush and i'm going to take that color that i had put on the outside wing and I'm going to make it a little tip and I'm going to bring it just along here. I'm going to pick up. I'm just going to have that little bit in there because I don't want to close my eyes up too much where they are hooded. So I'm going to do the same along here. A little bit out here. So everything now looks pretty good. I'm just going to go over with my eyeshadow brush that took off on me and just and that's pretty much it. I'm going to actually add a little bit of the other color on the end. And pull it up towards there. Up towards. So there we have it. Now is the time for to add. And what you want to do is you want to add accent lashes, not a full eye lash when you do falsies. I don't know if you can see. Okay. And squeeze. <laughs> I sound like I'm in a fitness. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup after. So basically everything looks pretty good. I'm liking it. I might actually add, if 
for the fun of it. Just a little bit on that one third. Really close to the edge. Now, when I put on my makeup, I'm going to literally be pulling the, the makeup out from underneath here all up along. So everything's going to lift. So without further ado, I'm going to put on my mascara and um, then get those lashes on. I'll be right. So I've done all my lashes and I'm just adding that accent lash. And I'm going to bring just a little bit extra up into that wing. I got a really nice accent lash. Do a zero. Okay. So just gonna poke that in there. This is well attached. Do that outside and push up a little bit. So now the lashes are on, I am going to get started on the makeup. So that those lashes were, um, these are the Girl About Town accent lashes that I have on for this look. Now I did take it up, the glue up a little bit further so that it would go up with the wing. So now it's time to basically get into putting on the makeup so i'm just going to use a different brush this time um so basically um to add my aspen because my face is completely red everywhere <laughs> i swear Especially down here. So I'm going to do this super quick so I can get to the makeup, <laughs> the real makeup. <laughs> Just want to spot test, or not test, but fix. Okay, a little bit more around the nose there. The reason I use the contour so much on the, the really bad redness is it really gives a good coverage and it, it still feels like skin. So I can go over this with the highlight so you don't see any brown, but then it looks absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to take my correction highlight and go over all those rosacea areas. 
clean it up on my nose to go over that red so that it looks very seamless. Because of this, I have to do more makeup, but it gives me a better, a better look because it gets rid of all of that stuff that I don't want to see when I have makeup on. And I'm pouncing. Everything is always a pouncy motion. Whether you're using a blender or a brush or whatever. So I have a little touch of redness on my forehead there. I want to stamp out. Don't want to ruin the eyebrows. <laughs> So now that I've got all that done, I'm just going to use, I'm actually going to use a different brush, which is going to be a little bit different. And I'm just going to grab this end of the buff brush and I'm going to put my my contour on. Because I'm, I did a sculpted eye look, I want to go really sculpted with this, with my contour for this. And I'm going to bring this up around here. Around here. I want to chisel out from on my face. And, well, I, I don't really need to do my nose as such, but just to show it being done. Just going to do one side. And I'm going to do the other side. And then I'm going to come across here. And there we go. Now I'm just going to oop, grab my main uh, highlight and I'm going to put it in between there, between there, put there. And a little bit a little bit. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go down the middle and do it alongside my eyes. I want to do an exclamation mark. Then I'm going to take And I'm going to go up and up alongside here. I don't want to get rid of my um, the wing I have here with this look at all. So I want to make sure that's all good. So I'm going to start blending out. Um, I actually should put a little bit along here too. So I'm just going to go at the corner of that and I'm just going to pull out like this and then I'm going to take, turn this around and I'm going to lift, lift up. 
So see how my face literally pulled up with that? So I'm going to come along the side of my nose, down around here. So I get that really up sculpted look. So I'm going to come over here, do this one. And the pounce. And up. To get that look. Now I am going to do in between and pull that out. Feather it out like in a triangle. Come down the center. Do my nose. Help that contour along to give that little beautiful look and pull up a little so it's coming down just right and I'm going to make sure this looks really contoured and beautiful. Make sure all this is all good and sorted. And there you have it. Now all I need to do is grab my um, color and I'm just got a little bit here. Pounce that out. Okay, I'm just going to grab my beauty blender. It's a little bit extra than I want it. And I'm going to just go over the rest of my face so everything all there's no extras. Okay. So that's all done. Now the only thing I've got to do is I'm going to grab my Astoria and I'm going to do my lips. And I'm just going to go just above my normal lip. And bring down the other side. making sure each side is even and then take in all that extra little bit of extra lip that has like no color like no actual pigment on it to make the lips look Way more fuller. And when I put on this lipstick or the contour on my actual lips, it's actually going to help the lipstick or gloss stay on a lot longer because it's giving the, the lips like almost like a second skin feel. Plus, it's giving you the fullness. So, with that done, and being satisfactory, I think I need a little extra on one side, sorry. Okay, I 
think we're good. Okay, so I'm just going to grab um, a bit of pink grapefruit. And I'll put all this in the description. Or the caption, whichever. <laughs> And I'm just using my finger to pat this up. It's a really nice look. It gives you like that little contoured look of having your lips outlined, but at the same time you actually get like kill two or three birds of one stone. So I'm just going to grab also Dahlia and I'm going to pop that on. That one is a gloss, so it'll give it a really nice sheen. And finally, one little trick to make sure you don't get your lipstick on your teeth. And you've pretty much pulled everything out so it's not on your teeth. So that's everything done. All great. Actually, I think I need a little touch up. Maybe cover it quite fully. And I'm just gonna take it over there. See, this is the thing is you can just touch up a little bit here and there. So, this is pretty much the foxy eye look with the chiseled cheeks and everything. And beautiful lips. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would ask you to come over and follow me at my Instagram. And um, also, please, please, please like share if there's anything you have any questions about please drop them in the comments i'm going to have everything in the description of what i've got on what i've wore all that stuff and um if you would share i would very much appreciate it if you do share drop it in the comments that you did and i will actually be giving out some little freebies freebie gifts who, who wouldn't love that subscribe and come find me at instagram have a good night bye bye